a leader in his community, and uh, I want to say a leader of culture, sport, recreation, and uh, the what's right. He has always believed in the rights of uh, of uh, Native North Americans and uh, and the people of his community, and he has uh, been uh, certainly a, a person who has taken a stand in the past and for for many many years. I've seen the leadership of this uh, uh, fine uh, chief, and uh, I want to say as I leave the political scene, I want to say to you, Grand Chief, thank you for what you've done in opening my eyes to the challenges, to the concerns, and also to the pride that your people, that, that your community has in the culture and the rich culture and heritage that you impart here at this uh, cultural center and in your community. Organizations who are uh, eligible to apply to the fund that uh, the uh, North, Native North American Traveling College was successful with uh, include Ontario's not-for-profit organizations in the arts, cultural industry, and heritage sectors, as well as not-for-profit provincial-based academic research institutions and Ontario public libraries or public library sector organizations. It is my understanding that uh, uh, Mr. Roundpoint, on behalf of the Traveling College, applied to the Cultural Strategic Investment Fund because he and his colleagues aspired to develop a process that would serve as an educational tool and allow people from all cultures to learn about the Mohawk culture. I have heard that the North Amer Native North American Traveling College plans on engaging Ontarians in the Mohawk culture through the combined use of technology and face-to-face -face interactions. This will be achieved through the production of a series of short video vignettes which will be made available on the college's uh, website as well as on portable video, video monitors to be displayed in public places. To support the videos, a series of educational booklets, primarily for children, will be developed as a tool to showcase Mohawk culture, traditions, arts and crafts. I am certain that all these initiatives will allow the traveling college to achieve its goals of promoting the true culture and history of, the Mo of, this, of this proud Mohawk nation and educating Ontarians on the contributions Mohawks have made to our society. By enhancing existing cultural resources and developing new innovative ideas, organizations like this traveling college are providing people with new and unique cultural experiences which help us to strengthen the cultural and economic vi vitality of our community and the visibility of our founding nation. And by supporting our cultural sector, we are able to build vibrant cultural communities that contribute to the quality of life of Ontarians. So to you, uh, Mr. Roundpoint, my, my friend, uh, to you, uh, Bernice Lazor, to you, uh, Mike, to my friends here, I just want to say congratulations uh, you have uh, you have tapped into something that was at your doorstep that was there for you to tap into to to continue as you explore opportunities in 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 spreading the word of the wonderful culture that you have here in the community of Akwesasne and uh, I congratulate you for your enthusiasm for your creativity and for the contributions that you have made and that you continue to make to cultural development in our province. I wish you success in the future, and uh, as I said, as I wind down uh, my activity at the provincial level, uh, I just want to say what a, what a tremendous opportunity that I've had to share opportunities since 2003 with you and to learn from you. Uh, I have learned uh, uh, immensely the pride and the, the, uh, the, the sheer passion you have at, uh, at presenting your culture, and uh, every time I come into this cultural center, I learn something new. I learned just today of a new book that is is out on the market, uh, written by none other than your grand chief, uh, Mike Mitchell, on uh, on lacrosse. And what a, as I say, you have a passion for culture, you have a passion for sport, especially the sport of lacrosse, and you have a passion of making sure that the community of Aquasasti is well on the map of Ontario. It is. My colleagues at Queen's Park tell me it is. And you know, just a few moments ago when the Grand Chief tells me that he has an opportunity of meeting one of the ministers this coming Monday, that's what it's all about. That we keep those, 
those opportunities of communication alive and open and well to serve your community and to serve Ontarians as they communicate and enjoy the culture that you have. So to all of you, congratulations, my best wishes in the future, and in closing, I just say, say Thank, Thank you. Thank you.